Hey, Jared here. Welcome to Eating Enlightenment. You've probably just taken the quiz and you're sort of starting to learn how we work with parts here, how we work with voices here at Eating Enlightenment, how that's a little bit different than what you've done before. And so in this video, I just want to talk about some things you can start doing, practically speaking, that are easy and that will help you prepare and to get over binging. Um, so basically, there's an app down below. And if you're looking for something practical, you can download the app and start journaling before you eat. And this whole journaling before you eat is very important because it will help you stop binging, but also prepare you to understand your mind and body so that you can connect to these different parts so that you can talk to them. So like, for example, when I left college and I became a Zen monk, what I did, I was binging at this time when I first became a Zen monk, but when I had to pause and eat, so we'd, we'd have meals every day, right? So I started eating regularly. That was something. And then when we were eating regularly, we'd have to pause and there were people all around me, right? Other monks and we'd all pause. And so I couldn't eat very quickly. So I had to pause and I had to notice my feelings. And that was it. And so journaling can sort of, as a monk, by the way, I wasn't journaling. I want to be clear with you. But since then, in the years since then, um, I've kind of found that journaling is the best tool for people to get over binging, especially these beginner stages where you're not quite sure what to take how to take action. These voices sound a little bit weird to you. you you know, maybe there's a part of you that says maybe these voices, but there's also another part of you that just says, give me something simple to do. Um, I'm not, I can't, I don't know if I can trust Jared. I don't know if I can trust eating enlightenment. I don't know what's going on. Um, but then there's this other part of you that does want to try that does want to get better. And right. And so we're trying to find the middle ground where your skepticism can still be there. You know, that part that's like, what is this? Who is this guy? Where that is valid, where that part is valid, where there, that other part that is maybe disapproving that says, you know, you've tried all these things before. Why are you getting your hopes up now? Don't even bother. Where where that part can, can be satisfied, where that part can be there, but also this part of you that wants to get better, that sincerely wants to get better. The beautiful thing about food journaling, without calories, don't mind you, without weight, without without this other nonsense, is that all these parts can get their needs met. And that's what we try to do at Eating Enlightenment. We try to listen to all these parts, try to get all their needs met, and then they work with us to help us heal. And so, for example, when you just download the app and you start journaling, the app has a template, by the way, so you just fill out the template. It's like, how hungry are you? What are you eating? Are any thoughts, any feelings? Are you stressed? You just, it's, it's all guided, right? So pretty easy. You don't have to think too hard. Um, you just journal and it even says before or after so it's okay if you journal afterwards but the uh the emphasis is to journal before that's sort of where you will see the most progress but anyway so the skeptical part can say okay well let's just try it let's try journaling before you eat let's just see if that works it's not too big of a thing and the disapproving part can be like all right fine well you're just trying before you eat so it's i guess it's okay to just try a little bit don't get your hopes up too high and and then the uh the part of you that um that wants to heal can can feel good too so i think you can see how we're addressing every part's motivation that's the intention i know there's more parts than these um, but food journaling is something very very simple that you can do and when you write down your thoughts and you write down your feelings that is sort of the, the foundational training right mindfulness mindfulness um, that's sort of the foundational training to help you prepare to connect with these different parts and to really understand them. Um, because a huge part of understanding these parts is like, like you, you gotta be able to sense them. You gotta be able to sense them in your body and in your mind. And, and I know that idea of having parts and sensing them and talking to them can just sound a little weird. So um, the good news is that just by mindfully journaling before you eat, taking a moment to pause and notice your hunger and notice what's going on, without any emphasis on parts, this practice will help you stop binging. It will help you get back in control, help you slow down to make sense, to process your emotions, to notice your hunger and notice if you're actually hungry when you're eating. So just this basic practice of journaling before you eat um, can really, really help. And so that's also a, a great step forward 
if you're if you're new to eating enlightenment what i'd encourage you to do is either download the eating enlightenment app below you can use a paper and pen there's also a link down below we have this little paperback journal uh yes here it is um <clears throat> little paperback journal with like this the, the template you know like food time place etc little little things breakfast lunch dinner so you, whatever works for you right but start journaling before you eat and that's going to help you one get started with something tangible right you just took that quiz here's something you can actually do you don't need to learn a whole lot of theory you don't need to learn a whole lot about nutrition or points or you can just do this you can just start journaling before you eat and actually see progress pretty quick I, i'm not going to say that journaling is the solution don't get me wrong i know there's part of a, another part of you that is probably in the background saying something like well you're not going to be able to stick with journaling so why even try right and so just you can just let that part know that yeah that's fair that's fair you no one can stick with journaling for a lifetime but maybe what what journaling trying out journaling can do for a few weeks, right, or for a day or two, is just to just to see, just to just to see about maybe there's something with this parts work, maybe there's something about being mindful of these different voices in my head, and maybe there's something where I can finally talk to these voices and make them feel understood and understand my inner world, and and maybe that's something different, maybe that can last, maybe maybe that can last, maybe maybe journaling is just a a, a tool to help me check in and and guess what by the way journaling is like training wheels we do not want you to journal for your whole life all right so don't get don't get me wrong we know that journaling is like training wheels we know that no one can stick with journaling for their whole life okay we know that but what journaling can do is is is, is be your training wheels to help you pause before you eat to help you start sensing your mind and these different parts and being able to connect with them Journaling can help you identify these basic eating patterns or if you're too hungry or if you're not eating enough. And so don't get me wrong, I, I know that no one can stick with journaling. And so that part of you that's skeptical for that reason, it's valid. But also maybe this skeptical part is willing to step back a little bit so that you can learn the foundational skills of being mindful before you eat and so that you can in the future connect all these parts and, and heal all these parts and, and and help these parts connect to each other and so that there's less internal conflict, there's less confusion. And so that really, at the end of the day, you can just become a normal eater. Um, now, yeah, so, so if you're looking for something practical to do, I know there can be a bunch of different concerns that come up, but hopefully in this video, we've given you something practical. The food journal, there's an app, paperback journal, you can get a pen and paper, just writing down a few notes before you eat, that, that's it. You know, that's something practical that hopefully addresses all these different parts needs and, and helps you see progress right away. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'm Jared, and uh, thanks again for being here. Okay, promise day.